President Mohamed Buhari has signed a quarantine order which gives legal backing to the lockdown extension announced by the president. The president made the announcement on his Twitter handle on Monday. According to the order, the lockdown and cessation of movement in Lagos State, the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, and Ogun State is extended for a further period of 14 days with effect from Tuesday, April 14. Now joining us in the studio is legal practitioner Obi Adjegbo. Thank you, Mrs. Obi, for staying with us still this evening. No problem, sir. Please. Now let's let's consider the legality of the quarantine order signed by the president. What is the legality of this, and what does it entail? There's a there's a quarantine act, which says in the in the case of a epidemic or a pandemic, yes. that the gov the president has a right to take certain decisions on behalf of the states, right. and this is this must be one of the decisions. And, and this is the vote of any consultation of deliberation with the state, the very first man of the state, the executive governor. If we were running a proper federation, yes. a constitutional based con federation, as we all have been screaming for restructuring, the, he would have had to have discussions with the governor and to see if there's any need to lock down. But since we still have an army backed constitution, then he has his acting and being an ex-military man he's still acting as as if it's a military come democracy and well, let, let's look at the constitutionality of this i mean away from from the legality of this now how, how does this play out in, given given the constitution in the light of the constitution the governors are the chief executive officers of the states yes. the president is the chief executive officer of everywhere but every but but every Every it is the governor, like in River State, it was the governor that chose to make that decision without anybody doing that. Yes. And in Anambra, they did that. Yes. So it, it, I, find it, I find it very strange that why um, Lagos State, Ogun, and um, Abuja, Abuja should yeah. be singled out for this lockdown. But perhaps because Lagos is a test case. Lagos is, is the bride. It to be the epicenter yes, of the epicenter, of the, pandemic the bride Nigeria. of yes. the corona coronavirus epidemic. And they are making, they are make, making major strides in it. Now, the quarantine order, it gives a little back into the lockdown, I mean, by the president, as mm. we, we saw in his broadcast. Mm. Now, other states also, that we have a few states who have also um, report, re reported cases of COVID-19. Mm. Shouldn't this quarantine order also be extended to those states? Like you rightly said, why particular Lagos State, Ogun, and the Federal Capital Territory? Well, um, it depends on the numbers. Okay. In, in Lagos, Lagos, we have a, a, almost 200 now. Yes. And we hope it will grow up more. But in other states, they have maybe the odd two or three persons. And because of two or three persons, is it, is it advisable to lock down a whole state where you can contain it and make sure you, 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 you groom them on social distancing and all these other things they should be doing? Legal practitioner, Obi Ajegbo, thank you very much for thank staying you. with us on News on the Hour. Thank you.